live what is going on shrimp keepers and fish keepers and whoever else might be watching um thank you guys for stopping in on your sunday uh we got a lot to talk about tonight but it's gonna be a lot of fun so let me see what everyone has going on uh neon tetra was here first what's going on neon tetra uh jw aquarium says going live after rob that's great to hear so make sure to check him out uh spooky boy says hey uh, let me pause that he said uh just got back from the pet store bought a cherry shrimp a lot of good stuff going on uh jw said congratulations rob on 20k yeah so we literally hit twenty thousand last week i think it was on sunday or it was on monday it was one of the two but we hit twenty thousand subscribers which is like amazing so our our shrimp family is growing and so that is a great thing and it, we had a lot of videos this month it just seemed to do really well and so that helped a lot so it's great to see the family growing and uh you know it, it's just awesome so we're super blessed and it's just a really really cool thing to have that so thank you so much jw um we got neon tetras smeal in the house we got shoe uh deluxe shrimps in the house what's going on jordan's here uh hugo um so a lot of people here max is here so shout out to everybody that got here early rack cross my man uh Cezanne's here uh so a lot of good stuff and uh just looks really really good so thank you guys for tuning in and i'll read through the comments here in a little bit but i did want to give a shout out to the the people that got here first always got to do that story missed emma's in the house what's going on emma emma i did get your email i haven't had a chance to respond back to it but don't worry i'll get back to you and so uh so yeah so we got a lot of good things going on so our big thing right now is we have a shrimp import number three so it's going quick uh we have number three arriving what is it september 5th i believe let me see no september 6th it's on a wednesday so we have it coming in on a wednesday which is going to be oh it's going to be fun middle of the week is always interesting uh but that's going to be a lot of fun so we have that going on and we recently just redid our whole water change system uh which i'm going to come out with a video for that uh, Mark did it all so he wanted to do a video of it first and I'm like that's fine and so I'll have to link that video up when he when he posts it but I'm gonna do a video shortly after that and it is just it is gonna save us so much time and uh, just how it worked out it I mean it's so cool so super excited to show that or share that with you guys and so we've been doing a lot of work off the camera uh, which is different from what we normally do and it's just because we've just been that busy and so, um, so we have that going on, the new water chain system, and the new imports coming in. Uh, let me look up exactly, because I was wondering how, how many shrimp we're getting in, but I didn't know for sure. So I'll just pull it up and tell you guys. And then I can share with you guys, we're getting some, uh, some new shrimp in this time that we've never got in before. So I'm really excited about that. I hope they do well. Um, it's always nervous getting new shrimp that you've never gotten before, because you're not sure, like, are they gonna do well or are they not and so uh so it'll be interesting to see how they do let me see um ba -bum. let's see gotta find it first that's always the funnest part let's see it is june so i'll just have to find it the other way but we do have a lot coming in. I want to say it's close to 13,000 shrimp coming in. There it is. Okay. So we have... Dun, dun, dun. We are getting in... 12,410 shrimp. So it's a little less. It's more like 12,000 opposed to 13,000. But we're getting in a lot of Caridina this time. So... Uh, we're definitely bringing in some new stuff, which I'm super excited for. I want to say the thing that I'm most excited for is uh, Amanda really, 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 really wanted these purple zebra shrimp. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard of purple zebra shrimp. Um, they've never been able to been no. Uh, let me rephrase this. They've never been bred in captivity where they've actually got the adult or the babies to grow up to adults. Um, so Amanda wants to challenge herself and try to breed them, uh, be the first person in the United States if someone doesn't beat her to it. So we ordered in purple zebra shrimp. And so we'll, we'll have plenty available. So you guys are, are more than welcome to try with us. But we want to 
get them to a point where we can breed them. Uh, pretty sure they need brackish water to spawn, and so it's going to be a challenge. Uh, but it's something that will be fun, and it's something we can do together. And so those are coming in, which I know Amanda is super, super excited. And if you guys don't know if this is your first time watching, uh, Amanda is my wife, and uh, and she is super passionate about the shrimp hobby as, as well as me. And so, uh, so she, whenever we order anything or import anything from overseas, she always like, give me that list. Like, I want, I want to know what there is that I can get. And so she always is picking out a few things that she really, really wants. And so I guess it's the benefits of being uh, married into a shrimp, uh, shrimp empire, as she always calls it. <laughs> so that's going to be really cool. So that's one of the uh, few new things that we're getting. Um, we're also getting in more galaxy pintos. And so that's going to be exciting. So uh, we haven't gotten those in since our first order. And we only got, I think, five in uh, just to take pictures of and just see what they look like. And they came in really nice. Uh, this last order, we didn't get any in just because uh, we, we were too busy getting other things. And so this time, we're, we're getting some more in. So that's going to be really cool to see those. And then uh, there's a couple other really cool ones. There's, there's two amazing shrimp that I am super, super, super stoked to get in. And I don't want to unveil it yet, tell you guys what it is, because I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get them or not. Uh, it's it's supposedly a sure thing, but you guys know how that goes. Like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. And so, uh, so we'll have to see how that goes. If they do come in, you guys are going to be really excited. And I know I'm going to get asked, what are you drinking? This is a uh, blue water. It's it's flavored with uh, not Mio. Mio is giving me like heart palpitations, so I don't drink that stuff anymore. Um, but it's like... I don't know, some some knockoff brand that doesn't have additives that are bad for me. It doesn't have electrolytes. Oh, let me turn that off. I hate when my phone's on. My man, Charlie. All right, so before I start reading comments, I do want to share with you guys. I do a special every single week for a live stream. I'm sure you guys are starting to get more and more familiar with that. So we are getting an import in that is coming in in two weeks roughly like a week and a half and so we we need to clear up some room so i need to get some takes cleared out so that the new stuff has a place to go and so we are running a discount on all the shrimp that we have left um there's like a mono shrimp cherry shrimp oh no there's no cherry shrimp there's a mono shrimp like carbon rillies oranges there's crystal reds crystal blacks tangerine tigers uh black rose a lot of different types of shrimp that we still have in stock and so we're just running a special on all of them. Uh, it's 17% off. And uh, and we're just doing it to help clear out some space for us so we have plenty of room when the next import arrives. Uh, because there's nothing worse than trying to find room for shrimp to go. Because we've been there, trust me. And it's like, where are we going to put everything? And then you end up putting too many shrimp in a tank. And then they don't do well. And then you regret it. And so, uh, so we're not making that same mistake twice. So I'd much rather sell shrimp at a cheaper price just to clear up some room so we can get new stuff in because just wait until you guys see the new stuff we're getting you you really are going to be excited because there's some funky new stuff we got but let me see what everyone's saying i did want to say that and all the details are down below for that uh the discount code is import number three and it's actually the the number sign or pound sign or whatever they call it uh it's a number sign not the pound sign i don't know what i'm talking about but whatever <laughs> but it is, all that information is down below, and uh, and so that's really cool. Oh, and the other thing, before I forget, is we started doing this really cool thing. Um, so every week we have a special. So like, let's say uh, last week we did a special on matten filters. We did 25% off matten filters, and, uh, and I did an email through our website. So you can go to our website and sign up for our email list. And I said that I was going to give away one free matten filter, to somebody randomly that subscribed to our email list. And so this week, I drew a winner based on a random number selection and finding which uh, email it was, and then I sent it out in the newsletter. So uh, every week, we're going to try whatever we do a special one, we're going to try to give that away the following week through the newsletter. And uh, unfortunately, it only applies to the United States. And so if you guys are in the United States and you're interested in some free shrimp stuff, uh, you can sign up for a newsletter. And as long as you sign up before Sunday, uh, you're going to be in the drawing because we're going to do the drawing every Sunday. And so I forget who won this week. It was like, uh, I'll just pull it up. That's the easiest way to do it. Let me see. 
just in case they're listening, because they might not have got the email yet, but they could be listening. And the way that I did it is I gave it away by saying part of their email. And so the start of his or her email is LA, oh, so it's a guy. It's LA Larry 20 is the beginning of his email. So if that's your email, send me an email at rob at flipacodex.com and I have a free Madden filter for you. Free shipping, everything sent to your door, whatever size you want, you just let us know. And so, uh, so all you have to do to be a part of that is just sign up for the email list. But again, you don't have to by any means. Just if you want to stay in the loop at Flip Aquatics and uh, let it know what, or let us know, or I don't even know what I'm saying, but just be in the loop and see what we have going on because we do share some some other videos that we don't share on YouTube on there and stuff like that. But anyway, let me get into some comments. Um, let's see what we got going on. Again, if you guys have any questions, it's always good to do the at symbol, which is the A with the little circle around it, and then flip aquatic stash love diesel. And if you do that, I will always see your comments, and then I can reply a lot, lot, lot easier, a lot easier. Um, Nathan Springle said, I live in Athens, Ohio. Where is the fish club you did a video on? Uh, so Nathan, I actually, well, you live pretty close to me, so that's cool. Um, the video I did, a the video on the fish club, it was probably Youngstown Area Tropical Fish Society, which is YATFS.com. Um, but there are a few other ones, but most of them are close to Cleveland is where they're located. Um, but there are a lot around us. So as long as you're in driving within driving distance of um, Cleveland or Pitt, or not Cleveland or Columbus, you can usually find a club pretty easy. And so, uh, so yeah, uh, Team Hex said 12,000. Wow, man. Yeah, 12,000 is going to be a lot. Uh, who counts these shrimps? So no one actually counts them. What we do is we actually do back counting. So we'll add, let's say we're supposed to have 200 shrimp. Uh, we'll put 200 shrimp in a 40 gallon breeder and then we'll keep track of the deaths that we have. We'll keep track of the ones we take out for parasites. And then we keep track of the ones that we sell. And then as soon as we run out of shrimp, we go through and we look at our records and say like, hey, we took out 40 shrimp for deaths. We took out uh, 20 shrimp for parasite and 100 shrimp uh, that we sold so that's only 160 so then we're like okay we were shorted 40 shrimp and so that's where we start dealing with our importer or it would be considered an exporter and started dealing with him but luckily we haven't had any problems like that so we we do count them but we don't count them initially uh jake said are monos as sensitive to copper ace cherries and other shrimp i want to get a cleaner crew for my uh tank so <laughs> honestly Cherry shrimp are the hardiest shrimp, or not cherry shrimp, a mono shrimp are the hardiest shrimp in the world. Like they are near impossible to kill. So are they sensitive to copper? Yes, all inverter all inverts or invertebrates are sensitive to copper. Now, a mono shrimp are much hardier than other shrimps, so they're gonna be able to tolerate more of it, but it's still not a good ideal idea to have copper in their tank. Um, but if you're dosing a little bit of copper, it shouldn't hurt them too bad um again a mono shrimp are they're they're bulletproof like it's ridiculous um scuba steven said did you guys already deplete the last import order already uh no so that is why we are doing the the sale because we still have um some of the import left and we need to clear out some room uh the main reason we were doing an import this time is because we ran out of like fantasy blues uh, we ran out of cherries. So like some of the things we started running out of, well, other stuff we still have a lot of. So we're starting to learn like what sells and how quickly. And so we're going to strategically start importing certain numbers of shrimp so that we have enough to sell and different things like that. Because my goal is to never run out of shrimp because um, it stinks for people that really, really want them or they get them and they're like, oh my gosh, I love these. I need more. And then they can't get them because we ran out. And so we're trying to solve that problem by you know, just planning ahead of time and knowing that like, hey, we sold this many in this amount of time, so we need to have this many to make us survive two months or something like that. So that's what we're working towards. So we do still have some of the shrimp import left. And again, that's why we're doing the 17% the off on the shrimp. Um, let's see, JW said, doing my first shrimp live stream tomorrow night. Well, good luck, that would be a good time. Uh, shrimp live streams are always the best. We got Nisi in the house. What's going on, Nisi? Um, Matia 
said, can I ask you something about Amanas? You can ask me anything you want. Um, I'm th let's see. I actually see your next comment. Okay, thanks. Uh, just a quick one. One of my Amanas molted, and now he's not really doing anything, just sitting under one of my plants. So most likely he molted poorly, um, which kind of like slows them down. Sometimes they'll make it. Sometimes they won't. A uh, good way to tell is right where, uh, basically, let me use simple terms. So like their, their head and then their tail come together. That middle section where it comes together, it usually that's where they, well, that is where they always break their molt and that's where they get out. And so if they molt badly, you actually see like a break in their shell right there. And that's how you know like, oh, this guy might not make it. So look to see if that's going on. If that isn't going on, maybe it's just an old shrimp. Uh, but a mono shrimp do live a long time. Um, I think I've heard like they live like 10 years. Like some people report they live up to 10 years, which is just, I mean, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, Jake said, can you adopt me? Jake, I I, I, I probably could adopt you, but I, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm sure you have a great family. You probably just want more more, more shrimp like Amanda and uh, be able to order off the list. But yeah, we, we can always work something out, but not adoption. <laughs> Uh, the, a uh, not, oh man, that's a tough one. Something mouse. We'll call them the mouse. If I get shrimp from you, how do I know they're going to show up alive? So that is a great question. And honestly, um, a lot of people do ask us that. So there is a guarantee. So whenever you buy shrimp from us, there is a 100% guarantee that the shrimp will arrive to you alive. And if they don't, you know, we will replace them. We'll cover the shipping. No problem at all. We'll send them out the following Monday. So we're really good about that, that we take care of the customer. We take care of the shrimp. Um, usually there aren't situations where shrimp die because we, we take so many precautions leading up to shipping them uh, that we, because we don't want them to die. Like, you know, the health of our animals is number one. It, it's, it's beyond the customer's needs or anything like that. And then number two would be the customers. That's not all you. You guys are just family. But there are some people here that are customers also and stuff like that. And so everyone else is second employees you know everyone is second to the health of the shrimp and so that's what we focus on the most um, but we always guarantee that they're going to get there alive and that just gives people peace of mind because it's always scary ordering live animals online and getting them in the mail like you know that for me like when i first did it like i was scared like you know what, what happens if they come in dead i remember this is actually really funny so i ordered assassin snails off of ebay or not ebay off of aquabit you guys ever heard of Aquabit? Um, and I got them in, and one they ate one of the other assassin snails. And I remember being so mad. And so I emailed the guy. I ripped him a new one. Like, why'd you send me one snail that there's no snail even in the shell? And the guy, like, like I think I paid like a dollar a piece for him. And the guy refunded me like right away. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Like, all right. So <laughs> I know what it feels like to get like something dead in or something missing. And you're just irate and uh and just know that i will take care of you no matter what so no problems there but great question for sure uh kg cichlid said do you use crushed eggshell for your shrimp like lr brett's so no so we don't use anything fancy for our shrimp um we just remineralize it with salty shrimp uh usually gh and cage for the most common shrimp uh, we also use just standard gh and that along with like um like for the the higher let me let me rephrase. So, Neo Caradina, we only use RO water, remineralized with salty shrimp, GH and cage, and that's good enough parameters. And then we feed them a nice, high quality food, um, and that ensures that they get all the minerals that they need. So, they do well. Um, now, the Caradina, we do GH, but we use buffered substrate, which is like your your ADA Amazonia, um, Brightwell, Fluval Shrimp Stratum, things like that. And those are also providing minerals to the water. And so in combination with those two, you're usually pretty good. And again, high quality food is important. Like we use the Shrimp King mineral uh, to get extra minerals in there. We use protein and that's mainly for the females and the babies. And then we use Shrimp King Complete, which is just our, our, our everyday, like this is what the shrimp need kind of food. And so that's how we, we do that. So we do not use any eggshell or crushed coral or anything like that for our shrimp tanks. Um, Jonathan Bennett said, any new variations of Neos coming in, uh, the order that you can tell us about? Uh, so, as far as Neo Caradina goes, 
Um, I don't think we really did anything too different. We didn't get – I was debating on getting Green Jades in, but last time they just didn't do good. So I'm going to probably wait till the next order to try them again. Um, but we did get into – they call them Neo Caridina, but I'm pretty sure they're a Caridina species. Uh, we got three different types in that they consider Neo Caridina, which are the purple zebra shrimp, um, the bamboo fan shrimp, and then the lesser long nose shrimp, which are like an algae eating shrimp. Um, people also call them the Pinocchio shrimp because they got the the long nose. And so these ones don't have as long of a nose. And and honestly, these might come in terrible, and we won't even sell them. So uh, don't get your hopes up that that they're going to be for sale. We're just getting them to see how they do and if we can keep them. Um, but hopefully they'll all do good, and then we'll be able to offer them to you guys. But those are the ones that they consider Neo Caridina. Um, I'm pretty sure they're a Caridina species, though. But we are getting some, like, hardier tiger shrimp in, um, different types of tiger shrimp, um, some different types of Taiwan bees, different things like that. So it's going to be really cool. I would say our next import order before before the aquatic experience, we'll get some uh, interesting neos in and try some different different variations and stuff like that and mainly bring those to the aquatic experience with us and then also be able to uh, sell them online. Uh, Jordan Leroy said, Flip Aquatics, the beard is looking great. So the beard, it, it's kind of it's getting kind of shaggy, but, you know, thank you. I, I, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take a compliment any day. Fancy Tail Aquatics says, are you getting more Blue Dreams in? We are getting a ton of Fantasy Blues in or Blue Dreams or whatever you want to call them. Just our, our exporter calls them. Uh, fantasy blues so that's why we call them that but uh yeah we are definitely getting a lot in those are ones we ran out like we ran out of fantasy blues uh before the quarantine was even up so we we definitely are doubling down on those so that we make sure we don't run out this time uh because a lot of people have been emailing us about them like hey like we need some fantasy blues um there's some other things we really wanted to get in like uh the red fancy tigers we really wanted to get in and the black fancy tigers we wanted to get in but both of them were sold out, so that kind of sucks. And so we're going to have to wait another month for that. So it is what it is. Uh, somebody said, is there an Athens in the USA? Yeah, there's there's an Athens, Ohio. So I'm sure there's more Athens, but they're just little towns usually. Not like the real Athens. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, Stormy's leaving. See you, Stormy. All right, so <laughs> adopt me. Adopt me, please. Uh, let's see. Arash said, uh, can I have a mono shrimp with crystal reds and would they crossbreed? So a mono shrimp will not crossbreed with anything you keep in an aquarium except for other mono shrimp. So a mono shrimp are completely safe to keep in your aquarium. The other cool thing is a mono shrimp are, get much bigger than normal shrimp. And so they're usually pretty, they're usually good to keep with fish. Um, now, granted, if you put them in with like cichlids, like a big cichlid that's territorial, they're going to eat them. Uh, but if you put them in with like tetras and rasbores and things like that, they can hold their own. Uh, they're feisty little mono shrimp, let me tell you. And if you drop them on the floor, they're going to start crawling away. So these things are like, they're strong. And so you can put them in with crystal shrimp. Now, when it comes to feeding, a mono shrimp will dominate when it comes to feeding time. They will outcompete crystal shrimp 100%. Like, when we drop in food for the Omano shrimp, give it 10 seconds, and instantly they are all over the tank, like fighting each other for little pellets. So you have to make sure to feed a food that breaks apart really nice if you want to keep a mono shrimp with other shrimp. Uh, but a mono shrimp are definitely one of those ones that are hardy. They're amazing algae eaters, and you can keep them with fish. So that really makes them appealing for sure. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oops. I hate when it does that. It automatically goes to the bottom. Uh, Jordan Leroy said, a shaggy beard is great. Mine is a bit straggly. Uh, Going to get a trim before I go back to the university on the 12th. That's funny. A little straggly beard, little specks everywhere. <laughs> but uh, good luck going back to the university. Hopefully you're getting close to the end. Uh, let's see. Matias said, I heard Amanas are happier if kept in larger groups 10 plus. Would a group of 12 be enough for them? To feel secure so i would say a group of five would be enough to be completely honest but uh 10 would be just as good just remember they get huge so like i want to say they get like four five six inches sometimes like they can get well maybe not that big let me just look it up 
because a mono shrimp or some that I haven't really kept for that long. I'll tell you for sure how big a mono shrimp. How big they get. So let's see. I'll just type in how big do a mono shrimp get? <clears throat> okay, so this doesn't say. Whatever. I'll find it eventually. I don't want to suck up too much time. But I really feel like they get four inches for sure. Okay, so they said an inch and a half, which <laughs> I guess I'm really far off. Um, but I feel like they get they get bigger than that. Because mine are like an inch and they're like babies. But oh well. Kingly, what's going on, Kingly? That's funny. Although my biggest amount of shrimp is less than two inches. Yeah, so definitely not six inches. That's like straight uh oh my gosh, what is it? Um like cocktail shrimp. That's funny. Yeah, so at least double my biggest cherry. So cherry shrimp can get up to like an inch, inch and a half. And so I would say monos could probably get up to two, three inches. But yeah, so the, my monos were 3.5 inches. Okay, so I wasn't far off by saying four inches. Now six inches is a little bit big. That's like bamboo shrimp size. African filter shrimp. Yeah, so there, there are definitely some big ones in there. Kang Lee's in the house. What's going on, Kang Lee? Uh, Lars K dropping a two dollar super chat. Uh, thank you so much, Lars. Uh, he said, "I need cooler weather for mailbox order Arizona heat." Um, so, like I said, we guarantee all of our live shipments a hundred percent. Now, granted, if we ship them to you, I wouldn't recommend you leaving them outside for six hours before you get home. So make sure you have that dealt with. Um, as long as they're not sitting outside, we guarantee them every single time. And so, uh, so we'll make sure they get to you safe if you, if you got an order coming to Arizona. Uh, hopefully it cools off there. Let's see. Are you going to the Reef of Palooza in California? Uh, Joey, we are not going. That is way too far for us. Uh, maybe one day, though. Maybe we'll just go out there and hang out. Uh, Jonathan Bennett said, are there any inverts you know of that would work in a Malawi tank? So I don't think so. You'd need, like, crayfish. Ooh. But I think even crayfish would get picked on. But I mean, they got those huge pinchers. Cichlids are just mean little suckers, mean big suckers, I guess. So that's that. Um, so just a little reminder: we are doing a special this week, um, and it's because we have our import number three coming in, and so we need to clear up some room. So we're doing seventeen percent off uh, all of our shrimp that are left over from the last import order. And so you can find those at flipaquatics.com. Uh, if you're looking for shrimp, if you're not, no pressure, not at all. Uh, if you're just here to hang out, that's good because that's what I'm here for. So it'll be good. Speaking of hanging out, do you guys know what tonight is? Like, tonight is a big night. I'm probably going to be depressed after tonight. Um, Game of Thrones, it's the season finale tonight. Last week was epic. Again, I don't know if you guys watch Game of Thrones, but if you don't, it's a little – there's some cussing, there's some nudity, some things like that. So as long as that stuff doesn't bother you, I mean, it is an amazing show. Like I love adventure shows, and this one, oh, stole my heart from from. I started watching it in season two is when I started watching it, and uh, oh my gosh, it is amazing. So tonight's episode, like I, I might cry. I don't know. So <laughs> I am so excited. Amanda hates the show, so I've told her I'm like, listen, honey, like I'm gonna lock myself. Like I got a TV like right over here. I got this couch, like, oh, where is it? This chair right there. I sit in it. I just sit back and just zonk out and watch it. And it is just, oh, it's awesome. So super excited for tonight. Just wanted to let you guys know that. i uh, really, really excited. So anyway, we'll get back to some shrimp. Uh, Jordan Leroy said, been feeding Bacter AE for a while. Today I sat and watched the shrimp feed on it as it sunk from the water service and my shrimp were plucking it out of the air. Yeah. So back to AE uh, is probably our number one food. Uh, it, it's really close between shrimp king complete and back to AE because back to AE, they couldn't survive alone on it. Uh, it's just one of those foods that is like amazing for baby shrimp survival rate because it's literally like a powder. It won't pollute your water. Uh, you just dump like a little bit in, it spreads to the whole tank. It starts snowing basically because it's little white pellets. Um, and then 
wherever the shrimp are, they just start feeding right there. And uh, they're not fighting for food. There's no aggression. So Bactria is a really, really great food. Thank you for bringing that up, Le or Jordan. And uh, yeah, I agree 100%. Uh, Spooky Boy said, what do you feed them specifically, please? So our number one food is uh, Shrimp King Complete. That's what we've been using for the past, I want to say, six months, seven months. And uh, it's really, really given us great results. Now, all the Shrimp King foods are really, really great. And I would recommend any single one of them. But if you can only do one, I would do Shrimp King Complete for sure. Um, if you're going to buy them and you want to try out a few, do the five-in-one sample pack. Um, it's the same price, but you get to sample five different foods and try them out and see which one your shrimps like and see which one you like. Oh, that is so funny. Priscilla, you said, hello, fish folks. Rob, are you ready for the Game of Thrones season finale? Yes. Priscilla, I am so excited. Like, literally cannot contain myself. So, like, I'm hoping I just look down at the clock and it's 8 o'clock and then I just got to go sit. Like, I got some editing stuff once this is over and then 9 o'clock hits and it is Game of Thrones time. So I'm like super jacked about it. Priscilla, you need to stop bringing it up because I'm so excited. Um, so Dwayne Kitchell's ready too. So we're everyone's ready for Game of Thrones. It's going to be really good. <laughs> uh, Sneezanza said, I feel that a mono are not as fussy when it comes to water changes compared to my cherry shrimp. This cherry shrimp do not like often water changes. So like I said, a mono shrimp are one of the hardiest shrimp I've ever kept in my entire life. Actually, they are the hardiest. Um, those and then our USA bread cherry shrimp are like bulletproof. So those two, but a mono shrimp are definitely number one. They are so hardy. And so that is that. Uh, what shrimp would you recommend for a two-gallon? So if you have a two-gallon one, you have to be on top of water changes, topping off, like everything like that. Um, so it's going to be tough to keep shrimp in it just because there's so much change. If you're not cared about breeding, if you don't care about breeding and things like that, I would get like two mono shrimp. Throw them in there. You can watch them. They're they're not very fussy. The only thing is make sure they don't crawl out. Mono shrimp are crawlers, so that's one thing to know for sure. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, Rash said, "Thank you, Rob. I agree. They are tough. I got a few monos in one of my tanks with angels." I wanted to set up a crystal red shrimp, but didn't know if I could have both of them together. So you definitely could have both of them together. Um, but again, just be aware that a mono shrimp are aggressive eaters. Uh, so make sure that, uh, that you're not feeding them hard food that is going to cause them to be aggressive towards one another. Uh, Jordan said, I powered through seasons two, or through two seasons of Game of Thrones to catch up only on season four. You need to get going, Jordan. Like just pull an all-nighter, watch them all, binge it. And you won't, you will not regret it. Maybe the sleep part, but you will not regret watching it. Uh, no spoiler. I won't say anything about Game of Thrones um, because I know some people aren't caught up. I uh, just know that it's oh, last couple of episodes just been awesome. So it's going to be really sweet tonight. Uh, Kenneth Ben said at Flip Aquatics, getting any more Thai micro crabs uh, this order? Yeah. So we actually we currently have Thai micro crabs. We have about. I want to say 50 to 100 in stock. We have like another, I want to say week or two weeks of quarantine before they're ready to go. Uh, we actually we actually got in a ton of snails as well. So that's going to be really cool to bring those up. Um, we got in a ton of mystery snails, like I want to say like 300 mystery snails, different variations. Uh, we got in some near right snails. Um, we got in some assassin snails, um, some more rabbit snails so we have quite a few snails in quarantine uh, along with the thai micro crabs and some other stuff so it's gonna be really cool you guys you guys are gonna be excited to see uh some new stuff we have coming next month so our big thing is like we constantly want to be bringing on new stuff like i don't want to get stagnant like i felt like the, our last website and what we had it got pretty stagnant like I, I, there was a time where I didn't update the website in like four months. So like now I constantly want to be bringing on like new things. Like, like we're bringing on a new line of food. It's not food, but it's like a natural type of food. So we're going to be releasing that soon. I probably mentioned in other live streams, um, but we're going to be bringing that on soon just because I feel like it adds value uh, to any shrimp keeper, uh, to a shrimp tank. And that's what's important. So we're always going to be adding things that add value. Um, we never want to add something that's not a good product. 
And so we always test the product before selling it and things like that. So we, we stand behind everything. But it is fun to constantly be adding new stuff because you're getting like new snails in and things like that. And it's just cool to have new stuff. Like it keeps the hobby interesting for me. And so I know it's going to keep it interesting for you guys as well. Uh, Mattia said, how do you prevent a monos from crawling out at flip party? So the most obvious thing you could do is cover your tank. If you have a lid on your tank, you're going to be good. Um, you know, try. <laughs> so they could crawl up airline tubing, which I don't think there's a simple way to prevent them from doing that. Um, but another thing is you could have like the glass tanks usually have like the frames on them, the black frames, and those have little lips that prevent them from getting out. Um, but things like they can crawl up filters. They, I mean, there's a chance that they're going to crawl out of your tank no matter what you do. Um, to completely prevent them is to completely cover the tank and have no gaps, kind of like you would do for a killifish. Um, but most of the time they won't crawl out. If they feel like they're not getting enough food or something like that, then they're going to want to crawl out, and that's usually when they do. Um, Mike Kinseth said, your cherry shrimp are the bee's knees. So <laughs> thank you so much for that, Mike. Really appreciate your feedback. And uh, and that's that's been a really good thing, too, with the new website. A lot of people have been giving us feedback. Um, they've been doing reviews for us. And, and that really does help. So if you guys have ever placed an order from us and you've done a review, thank you so much because uh, it really means a lot for other customers that come in and try to buy from us to see other people's responses and see um, you know what they've gone through and their experiences what they think about the shrimp uh, that really helps it also helps uh, like Google to actually know that we're real business like we're not just some fake website that just you know kind of try to scam people like people are actually giving real reviews and so that really helps and so so I really appreciate you guys doing that uh, Bruce Wilson jr. said do you have a video that shows everything I need to set up and set up a new shrimp tank so I probably don't. Oh. It wouldn't be a live stream if I didn't yawn. That's that's seriously what it's been coming down to. <laughs> but literally all we do to set up a new shrimp tank, we don't do anything crazy special. We literally just take substrate, whether it's pool filter sand or fluval shrimp stratum or bright well. Um, those seem to be our three favorites right now. Uh, we put that into the bottom. You use about half an inch of substrate. Um, if you have a black frame tank or something with a frame on it, usually we go to right where it's even with that frame. And we do that. And then we fill it up with water, remineralize it, and we add bacteria, live bacteria. You can get it from Fluval. We sell it on our website. You can get um, different types of live bacteria online. And then we add that. And then once it starts you know, processing ammonia, and nitrites into nitrates, then we know it's good to go. And so usually that's pretty much all we do. It's better if you let a tank sit, you know, set it up, let it sit, add some ammonia to it, add some fish food to it, put a couple snails in there, let it go for a month, let it go for two months, start getting some good algae growth, different things like that, and then add shrimp because then you know the shrimp are gonna have a natural food source, on um, different things like that. So that's just the basic tank. Uh, you can add things to it like Indian almond leaves, um, type of moss, some water tank, Java moss, um, Christmas moss, things like that. You can also add Malaysian driftwood, which is what – these are all things that we use in our aquariums. Um, not all of our aquariums, but we have. And if we were doing like a really good setup, this is what we would use. And you could add those things. And naturally, your, your aquarium is just going to start forming good biofilm, algae, things like that. And then uh, it would just be – ready for shrimp. So that's what I would suggest if you're going to set it up. You do not have to do anything super uh, famous or anything like that. Um, just, you know, don't go fancy. Just keep it the bare minimum. You don't have to go over the top for shrimp. Um, they can be kept in just basic setups. Shrimp Sue said, why are orange-eyed blue tigers not popular anymore? So orange-eyed blue tigers are actually extremely popular. Um, and the reason you don't see them sold anymore is because no one's selling them because they're constantly sold out. And so that is honestly what's happening. So orange-eyed blue tigers are actually more popular than they've ever been. Um, they're more expensive than they've ever been. And it's because no one has them for sale. And so that's my thought on it. And uh, and so we actually, we actually got some in on the import order. So we're getting those in. Uh, 
Oh my gosh, Ruru too. You are terrible. Um, but we are actually getting some orange eyed blue tigers in because we haven't been able to buy them locally or source them. Um, our calling just isn't growing as quick as we would like, and so it's been it's been tough. Uh, David Jolis said, "Hey Robert, are you going to list your wine reds?" Yes, hundred percent. We're going to list them. Um, we have about we have a lot of those coming in because we owe some people from previous orders that we haven't been able to fulfill. And so we got a lot of those in. We got some Pintos in. Um, we promised some people we'd get them Pintos and things like that. So we're, we're, we're getting a lot in. Um, fish Tanks and Fishing said, why does everyone I know like Game of Thrones? No one will stop talking about it. Um, so, we, I mean, we can talk about that for days. Just know that it's a good show. It has a great storyline. And, uh, and that's it. So it's just like everything else. Whenever there's a good TV show on, it seems to be the thing that everyone talks about. Um, personal testimony back to AE is great. And then, uh, flip aquatics. Yeah. So Dwayne actually listed. Thank you, Dwayne. Um, nice said, do you intend on shipping to Canada at all? Most breeders have, or most breeders here have the gross, uh, fungal infection in the swim rats. And it's been very sad. So, um, nice, you can send us an email. We can always, uh, ship some stuff to you as long as it's not too far. The only thing is when we ship to Canada, we can't offer a guarantee, but I mean, Every time we shipped there, it always worked out good. But if it, for whatever reason, it didn't, then um, it's just too expensive to ship there for us to guarantee it. But uh, if you really, really want some stuff, we can we can try to make it work. You just have to get over the fact that shipping probably is going to be between thirty and fifty dollars, and that's U.S. dollars, so it's even more for Canadian. But if you're ordering a lot, then it's worth it. Um, but if you're only ordering like twenty shrimp, it might not be worth it. But if you're looking for healthy shrimp and you can't get them in Canada, then I'll guarantee that we can get you healthy shrimp from the United States um, just because we, we put so much time and effort into them. But that's, that's a whole different topic. Um, let's see here. Hey, Rob, what's up? Remember when I asked if I, if a red secure and a fire red would breed, they did breed. And last time I counted, there were 13. Of them. Yeah. So fire red and Sakura and cherry shrimp are all the same shrimp. Uh, they're just different grades of red shrimp. That's all it is. So yes, they will definitely breed together. Uh, Jordan, nice. Just ordered the Shrimp King tester pack, uh, 11 year, year, or euros, not bad. So it stinks because the Shrimp King products were developed in Germany. So in the UK, it's like super cheap to have them and sell them. It's like under five or it's it's like right around $10 usually. Um, and that's US. And then when they come to the United States, um, they double the price. So now it's like the minimum we can sell them for is $20. So that's why I'm always like trying to do coupon codes for, you know, 10% off or 20% off or whatever it is um, to try to make them less expensive because $20 for some food is pretty expensive. Uh, but if it lasts for forever, then it, it, it's worth it. Let me scroll back down the bottom. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. If I miss anything, please let me know. Uh, Rack, great, great. Thank you so much for bringing it up. Um, Rat Cross said shrimp breeding contest update. So we officially kicked off the shrimp breeding contest. Uh, let me pull it up on Facebook. We started a Facebook group and this week we're really going to start hitting it home. Um, we really wanted to make sure in September it was rolling and we were getting pictures in and holding people accountable if they're going to be a part of it. And so let me see shrimp. Okay. So Right now, so what happened was we lost our old website. So we lost a lot of our information on people that joined the shrimp breeding contest. And so there, we didn't. We tried to invite as many people as we could. Let me do this. All right, so there we go. All right, let me copy the URL. I think this will work. All right, I'm going to link it in the description or in the chat right now. If you guys are a part of the shrimp breeding contest, go there and ask to join the group. And then if you're a part of the group, we will accept you. And uh, that's the group we have set up right now. We have 18 people that have joined it. I still got to get Corey in it. I don't think he joined yet. But um, we're getting ready to kick it off. We got Steam Fought Aquatics in the house. What is going on, Bob? Uh, Nisi said, one more thing I to have for a shrimp tank, a matten filter. I forgot that one. Nisi is the bomb. So 
so Nisi is always supporting us and, and being great about it. And so uh, Nisi is awesome. Uh, Jordan Leroy said, it's a pound rob. It's probably about $20. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Well, in Germany, it's dirt cheap for the Shrimp King food. I know that for sure. Um, yeah, Bob, did you get any more wood from hiking? Did you go hiking again? That was a, that was a really cool video uh, Bob did. It was him going and collecting um, natural stuff for his aquarium, and he got some wood. Um, I'm not sure if he got any rocks or anything, but uh, we watched that video the other day, and it was it was awesome. It was it was a good change of pace. But uh, yeah, rack the, the shrimp breeding contest is rolling, and the link is in the chat right now. I'll try to put it in the description of the video as well. Let me do that right now, just so everyone, just in case you're watching this on the replay, you know that you can join the shrimp breeding contest. Uh, just go down to the description. And I'll have it down there. But you had to have paid for an entry to it. It was five dollars, and the winner gets one hundred and fifty dollars. And there's two winners that both get one hundred and fifty dollars. So that's where the five dollars is going. It's not going to my pocket by any means. Shrimp breeding contest. There we go. Down below. All right. Let's see. Uh, MJ Aquatics says add flip Aquatics. Uh, which shrimp is okay for soft water, GH7, KH5, PH8? And so I would say because of your, your KH, you probably want to stick to a harder water shrimp. So like any of your Neocaridinas would do just fine in that. Um, Amana shrimp would do just fine. I'd probably stay away from like Taiwan bees and crystals. Um, probably the tiger shrimp would do pretty well in that as well. And so you have quite a few options. Um let me see. Let me see. All right. So I think I'm all caught up. If I miss one of your questions, just comment down below. Uh, Stormy said, did you know there's a hurricane in Texas? Yes. So I heard the hurricane's moving like super slow too. And it's just dumping water on everybody. And so, uh, so yeah, that is a for sure thing. And sorry about that, Stormy. Hopefully you guys are safe and there's no flooding. Uh, Sergeant Tank says, hey, Rob, will the video suffice for the competition? Um, yeah, it probably would, but still take a picture and post in the group. That's the best way for us to keep everyone accountable, and that way everyone is up to date on it. Or you can link the video of your tank in the description, and that way we would know for sure. Um, but anyway, so, guys, we are getting uh, our third import in, and as I was saying earlier, we're getting a lot of new stuff in, so... I figure we're getting down to the end of the stream so I can share some of the the nuggets with you guys of things we're getting in. Uh, we're getting in more pure red or pure red line shrimp, uh, which we've always we always get those in. Uh, your typical crystal reds, crystal blacks, uh, black king kongs. The new thing we're getting in is we're getting in shadow pandas, uh, which are like your blue instead of white, and then they have black, so they're like king kongs and and pandas, but they have blue instead of white, so they're. I'm really excited to see how those come in. Um, let's see. We're getting, we're not getting any black fancy tigers in. They were sold out. We are getting 50 of the red fancy tigers in, which will be good. Um, we're getting red pintos and black pintos, which are going to be really cool. Uh, we're getting the, the galaxy pintos, uh, which again, those I'm really excited for. Uh, we're getting the orange eyed blue tigers in. Uh, which I'll be really interested to see how those come in. And then this one I'm very, very excited for, uh, the Aurora Blue Tigers. We haven't got these back in stock since the first one, and uh, they did so awesome. And unfortunately, uh, we ended up selling them all. I wanted to keep them, but we ended up selling them all. And, uh, and so we're getting some more back in, so I'm really, really excited to see how those come in. And if they do just as good as last time, then I'll be stoked. And so those are like a wild type shrimp from China. And uh, they're just like a really, really pretty uh, blue color. So super excited about that. Uh, let's see. And then we're getting in the, the purple zebra shrimp, which I talked about. They're like, they are gorgeous. They've never been bred in captivity um, or at least never been raised up to adulthood in captivity. And so that's going to be Amanda's like really big challenge. Like she really wants to breed them, be the first one in the United States or in the world to breed them in captivity. And so uh, I'm sure there's some other people out there that would be willing to take on the challenge as well. So I think that'd be so cool if we can get those breeding in captivity. Uh, the other thing is bamboo shrimp. And then we're getting the lesser long nose um, 
algae eating shrimp in, which are like the Pinocchio shrimp, because they have that really long nose. They're pretty ugly shrimp, to be honest, but they're cool nonetheless. They're 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 pretty in their own sense of the the word. But so I'm really excited to get all those in. So it's just gonna be really cool to get some new stuff in and uh, unbox it and be like a kid in a candy store, like Christmas morning, seeing what you got, seeing how it did. And so we'll probably do another live stream when we're unboxing stuff, um, just to keep you guys in the loop and show you uh, the bags once we pull them out of the box and things like that. Um, Dwayne Kitchell said, are the pandas for Jewel at Corvus Osteen? So yes, some of them are for sure for Jewel, 100%. And uh, no, King Lee, we actually did not get Royal Blue Tigers in. They're so, so, so expensive to import in. They're almost, they, they're actually more expensive to import in than I pay for them or then I sell them for. So they're extremely expensive, but, so we did not order any of those. Uh, Stormy said, these are, these streams are the highlight of my week. Thank you so much, Stormy. I appreciate that. But yeah, Dwayne, definitely they are for Jewel. Uh, Bruce said, please like and comment. I always appreciate that. Um, liking, commenting, sharing, that's all great stuff, and I really do appreciate it from you guys. Um, April said, I'm interested in the shadow pandas. That's great, yeah. So April, I'll hook you up because I know I'm, I'm sure I still owe you some shrimp. Uh, Dwayne said my money's on Amanda. My money's on Amanda, too. When she sets her mind to something, that girl gets it done. Um, Jordan Leroy said, have you used fertilizers, fertilizers with shrimp in a planted tank before? Um, I have. I've, I haven't done it in a while. Um, but people like like Corey, uh, Aquarium Co-op uses Easy Green, and uh, he, he says that his uh, fertilizer is safe for shrimp. As long as you follow the, the directions, uh, at least I'm 99% sure that's what he says. Um, and I've heard of people using it in their uh, planted shrimp aquariums and no problems at all. So you can definitely make it work. Um, Nisi said, are you getting bamboo shrimp in? And can you just take my money and don't tell me how much I spend? <laughs> so we can definitely make that happen, Nisi. I'll send some of your way. But uh, yes, the bamboo fan shrimp, we are definitely getting in. So we will have those for you. Um, unboxing videos roll. Unboxing videos are fun. Uh, Snezanza is going to bed. See you later, Snezanza. Uh, thank you for stopping in. Uh, little fetus. <laughs> My gosh. Hey, Rob, does topping off your tank throughout the month change your water parameters? Um, no. So topping off the tank with pure RO water or distilled water will not change your parameters. Uh, if you're topping off with tap water that has minerals in it then yes it will change your water parameters it will slowly make your water harder and harder and harder um let's see yes yeah, so somebody said i've heard easy green is okay for shrimp and a lot of people use one called stride s so yeah so i would go with easy green just because another youtuber Corey aquarium co-op um you know it's always good to support the community so i would go with that um, but if somebody sells Strive S, whatever that is, and it's somebody in our community, then I would support them too. Like, I got to find out, I think Dustin from Dustin's Fish Tank, he just got a new one. And I forget the name of his fertilizer, but um, I'm pretty sure his is also safe for shrimp as well. So you, if, if you're fond of Dustin from Dustin's Fish Tanks, you can try his fertilizer. Or if you're more fond of Aquarium Co-op's fertilizer, you can do that one too. So it's whatever you guys want to do. Oh, man. Jordan Leroy said, sadly, I'm in the UK. I've got Tropica. Uh, so Tropica, Tropica is good stuff. Um, they have good tissue culture plants and stuff. Uh, Mattia said, how big of a tank do you recommend for bamboo shrimp? Uh, so bamboo shrimp get pretty big. I'm not going to say how big they get because I don't know. <laughs> but I know I know they definitely get bigger than other shrimp. And so I would, I d honestly, I don't have an answer for you right now. Let me get them in. Let me see how they do for me, and then I'll give you a better answer. But I want to say, like, if you made me give you an answer, I would say, like, two bamboo shrimp in a 10-gallon tank or something like that. So don't go too crazy. Michael Hoffman in the house. He said, hi, Rob. It's bedtime for the little people, so I can't hang out, but stopped in to give you a like and remind everyone to do the same. Uh, shout out to Michael Hoffman. He's been doing a lot for me. Uh, he's just a great guy. He's been doing some acrylic work for us, and so really appreciate him. So, Michael, thank you for stopping in. And uh, hopefully we'll get them on video soon and uh, do some collabs together. So that would be good. But, again, I just want to remind you guys, uh, we are getting the import in. So we need to clear out some room uh, in the fish room slash shrimp room. And so if you guys need shrimp, 
We have a discount going on. It's import number three. All the information is down below. And it's for 17% off uh, all of our shrimp that are in stock right now. The only ones that aren't in stock are um, the Taiwan bees and the cherry shrimp and then also the fantasy blues. But everything else, you can enjoy 17% off if you want to, if you need some need to fix your, your shrimp fix and, uh, and all that or shrimp desire, whatever it is. But there is that discount going on. And if you guys do take advantage of it, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate all of you. Thank you for hanging out for the past hour. Um, so much love to you guys. Enjoy Game of Thrones tonight. I cannot wait to see how it turns out. Uh, so excited. I'm mad that it's only a seven-episode season, but I think that I'll be okay. But I'm going to really look forward to next year. So you guys are awesome. So much love from me and the Flip Aquatics team, uh, Jeff and Amanda. They, I know they feel the same, and Mark and Ken. Um, all of us, much love to you guys. You guys make it a great night. Go watch Game of Thrones season finale tonight. It starts in one hour. I'm going to be watching it. I will talk to you guys soon. You guys make it a great week. See you guys soon.